Hello everyone, in this class we will study about the receptors. The objective of this class would be to define sensation and appreciate the dimensions of sensation. Define and classify receptor. Appreciate the structure and functions of important receptors. Understand the mechanism of receptor potential and list and understand the properties of receptors. Sensory system makes us aware of our external and internal environment. The process of this awareness is initiated by application of a stimulus. The afferent endings, the receptors, sense the stimulus and then convert it into action potential, that is impulse, by means of transduction. The impulse is carried to the spinal cord through sensory nerves and from there to the brain by means of ascending neurons. The central nervous system the sensory information is processed in various centers and finally brings a change in behavior via different pathways. The sensory system consists of receptors that receive and transduce the stimulus into action potential in sensory neurons. The afferent pathways that is sensory neurons that transmit the stimulus in the form of action potential to CNS, the neurons uh, in the CNS that modulate the sensory information and in areas of brain that recognizes the stimulus. Sensation. The basic recognition of stimulus is defined as sensation. Clinically, a sensation is called as aesthesia, a Greek word which means feeling. Accordingly, absence of sensation is called as anesthesia. Abnormal sensation is called as paresthesia. Sensation of movement is called as kinesthesia. There are different types of sensation. It can be broadly classified into three categories. Special sensation, visceral sensation and somatic sensation. Somatic sensation that is somesthesia arise from the receptors that present in the body surface. In the body wall, the muscles, joints, bones, joints and connective tissues. These include sensation of touch, pain, temperature vibration, joint movement and proprioception. Visceral sensation originate from stimulation of receptors in the viscera. Usually receptors are located in the wall of viscera that is uh, if that viscera has a wall uh, or in the connective tissue of the viscera. The visceral, visceral organs are present in the skull, thorax, abdomen and in the pelvis. The special sensation originate in the special sense organs that include vision, audition, olfaction, gustation and vestibular sense. These are sensed by special sensory receptors present in the eye, ear, nose and tongue respectively. Appreciation and interpretation of sensation is called as perception. It involves first recognition and then comparison, discrimination and integration of sensation. Sensation elicited by a stimulus differs in quality and intensity depending on the afferent pathways carrying the sensation. CNS areas activated by it and the nature of processing and information in the CNS areas. This may result in either accentuation or inhibition of the sensation. This type of control of sensation is known as sensory modulation. The sensation has several aspects like modality, intensity, affect and visual acuity. The quality or type of sensation is known as its modality. For example, modality of tactile sensation is touch. The intensity is a degree of perception of stimulus. The sensation of what that uh, spontaneously decreases in intensity quickly when the stimulus is applied for little longer duration uh, is said to be rapidly adapting and the sensation that decreases in, 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 in its intensity slowly is slowly adapting and the sensation that does not change in, in, in its intensity is said to be non-adapting. For example, pain is non-adapting whereas touch is rapidly adapting. Coming to the receptors. The receptors are transducers that convert various forms of energy in the environment into action potential in sensory neurons. 
the receptors are endings of the afferent nerve fibers the sensory receptor may be part of the neuron or specialized cell that generate action potential in the neuron the receptor is usually associated with non neural cells that surround it the receptor and non neural structures are together known as a sense organ the receptors are specific for particular stimulus that is particular form of energy the form of energy to which the receptor is most sensitive uh, is uh, called its adequate stimulus for example adequate stimulus for rods and cones is the retina uh, is the light okay. so this is uh, here example of one receptor which is a pacineal cor corpuscles okay so if you see the pacineal corpuscles uh, the uh, the neuron end will be modified okay and here you can see the multiple lamella in the pacineal corpuscles the receptors are classified in various uh, ways such by function by adequate stimulus or by location based on the function it is classified into four categories that is extra receptors intro receptors proper receptors and teleceptors extra receptors are they present in the skin and subcutaneous tissue and are concerned with change in the external environment close to the body these are present in the cutaneous sense organs intro receptors are that detect change in the internal environment of the body for example the baroreceptors detecting change in the blood pressure the osmoreceptors detecting the change in the osmolality of the blood fluids proper receptors provide information about the position of the body in space at any given time proper receptors are mechanical receptors present in muscles tendons and joints sense of position also depend on kinesthesia which is the sensation of movements of body parts that is dynamic movements and static position of the body teleceptors are the receptors that receive stimuli or sensation that are present far away from the body for example auditory receptors that detect uh, sound coming from the distance based on the adequate stimulus uh, there are different types of uh, i mean adequate stimuli uh, which is a form of energy so these are touch pressure cold warmth pain chemical and photons they are detected by the presence of various sense organs in the skin and subcutaneous tissue and in epithelium the major receptors are mechanical receptors thermo receptors nosy receptors chemo receptors and photoreceptors mechanical receptors respond to application of a mechanical stimulus for example touching or stroking the skin the mechanical receptors are broadly divided into three categories that is expanded endings encapsulated endings and naked nerve endings for example expanded endings so these are the merkel's disc and raffinis endings and encapsulated endings uh, examples are pacineal corpuscles meissner's corpuscles and crosses and bulbs and the naked and uh, nerve endings uh, the expanded and encapsulated endings are not very much essential for elicitation of cutaneous sensation Uh, all the four cutaneous sensory modalities can be elicited from the area that contains only naked nerve endings thermo receptors are sensitive to changes in the temperature of the skin accordingly there are two types of uh, thermo receptors the warmth receptor and cold receptor these receptors are uh, active over a broad range uh, of a change in the temperature nosy receptors they respond to painful stimuli the stimuli that are harmful that damages the tissue or threaten to produce damage to the organism there are two types of nos nosy receptors uh, that is a delta mechanical nos nosy receptors and c polymodal nosy receptors a delta mechanical respond uh, nosy nosy receptors they respond to the fast pain for example sharp pain due to the pricking they do not respond to pain activated by thermal or chemical stimuli on the other hand c polymodal nosy receptors respond to the several types of noxious stimuli including thermal and chemical one chemoreceptors that respond to the chemical stimuli 
examples are taste receptors olfactory receptors photoreceptors are uh, they are the light uh, receptors for example rods and cones in the retina based on the receptors the receptors are classified as a superficial and visceral the superficial receptors are located in the skin for example touch and pressure receptors uh, there are also deep receptors which are present in the muscles bone and tendons and visceral receptors they are uh, situated in the viscera the example for uh, uh, visceral receptor is a pain receptors in the viscera some of the important mechanoreceptors that is the uh, pacinian corpuscles so these mechanoreceptors are located in the skin and deep tissues they mediate sensation of vibration and pressure so see the structure of the pacinian corpuscles as i showed uh, it consists of uh, uh, its body composed of concentric layers which are called as lamellae much like an onion so they are 20 to 70 lamellae in each corpuscles arranged concentrically uh, they are 0.5 to 2 mm long uh, it is the largest mechan receptor and 0.7 mm in diameter the distal end of primary afferent fiber penetrates into concentric lamellae of pacinian corpuscle the cell body of this a beta fiber lies in the dorsal root ganglion and the axon enters the spinal cord through dorsal root the fiber is myelinated but the ending which lies in the concentric lamella of the pacinian corpuscle is unmyelinated these pacinial corpuscles are rapidly adapting mechanoreceptors capable of receiving high frequency high frequency vibration therefore it senses vibration and fine touch it also senses pressure sensation the distal end of axon not lamella of the pacinian corpuscle is actual transducer thus when concentric lamella is stripped away the force applied to the nerve ending continues to result in the genesis of receptor potential mesinus corpuscle this is relatively large uh, receptor located in the dermal ridges of the glabrous uh, that is hairless skin the dimension is around uh, the length is 150 microns and the diameter is uh, 50 micrometers and it is capsulated ending and having a single layered capsule into which the ending of the afferent nerve penetrates the afferent fiber is myelinated but the ending is unmyelinated the characteristic of the ending is that it is branched to form a complex structure inside the corpuscle it is a rapidly adapting receptor that senses the vibration sense and it also senses the sensation of the contact that is touch merkel's disc this is the most superficial mechan receptors present in the epidermis of a glabrous skin and uh, hairy skin they are formed by flattened termination of primary afferent axons the fibers are myelinated but lose their myelin sheath before entering into the epidermis the afferent ending branches uh, to form a cup like uh, flattened structures called as merkel's disc which synapses with a special modified cells that is merkel cells the merkel cells along with the merkel disc are commonly known as merkel's apparatus or egodome receptors the merkel disc are slowly adapting mechan receptors that sense touch pressure the functions of the associated merkel cells are not clearly known because the merkel's this merkel cells form a synaptic junction with a structure like merkel disc they are assigned a role of a primary electromechanical transduction raffinis endings are the smallest mechan receptors present in both glabrous and hairy skin these are expanded endings of the afferent a beta nerve fibers the myelinated nerve fiber and its unmyelinated endings branch out to form complex expanded structure these are the slowly adapting receptors but usually receive the sensation of crude touch crosses and bulbs are rapidly adapting mechan receptors present in the dermis dermis and widely distributed in the skin these are encapsulated receptors into which 
the primary afferent nerve penetrates the capsule is made up of modified cells that encircle the branched unmyelinated endings of a beta myelinated nerve fiber these are rapidly adapting mechanical receptors that mediate sensation of touch and pressure golgi mesonic corpuscles these are the first identified in identified in the tendons and muscles but afterwards also found in the skin these are encapsulated receptors consisting of 10 to 15 lamellae and they are 150 to 250 micrometer in diameter these are rapidly adapting mechanical receptors the function is not uh, exactly known but probably they are involved in the elicitation of sensation of touch pressure coming to hair follicles the endings of the afferent fibers are often present adjacent to the hair follicles the pressure on the hair distorts and stimulates the associated afferent endings of the hair follicles just just by bending uh, a hair without touching the skin therefore the touch sensation can be well elicited there are three different types of hair follicles innervated by uh, three morphologically distinct afferent endings uh, they, they are simple hair follicle non sinus facial hair and uh, uh, sinus hair follicle simple hair follicle they are without erectile tissue they are innervated by unmyelinated nerve terminals and mini myelinated axons the receptors are functionally rapidly adapting mechanical receptors sinus hair follicles are associated with hairs having large diameter and erectile tissue at the base surrounding the follicle these follicles are rich in nerve supply slowly and rapidly adapting endings are present in these follicles thus they have the properties of both slow and rapid adaptation the hairs with these follicles are called as vibrissae or tactile hairs non sinus hair follicles these are associated with spray like terminals resembling raphne's endings they are present mainly in the skin of the face and they behave like slowly adapting mechanical receptors so these are the different receptors okay so these are the free nerve endings the pessinian carpuscle carpuscles with uh, concentric uh, lamellae these are the mesner carpuscles which are highly branched inside the receptors these are raphne's end organs golgi tendon epitus the tactile hair the crosses and bulb and the expanded tip receptors coming to receptor potential receptors convert environmental energy into action potential in the sensory nerves on application of stimulus that is change in energy the potential change is observed in the receptor this is usually a non propagated depolarization depolarizing potential that uh, resembles uh, epsp that is excitatory post synaptic potential this is called as receptor potential or generator potential when the stimulus intensity is increased the magnitude of the potential is proportionately increased so when it reaches about 10 to 15 millivolts the action potential is generated in the sensory nerve fiber pessinian carpuscles due to their large size uh, are the best studied receptors for studying the genesis of receptor potential It has been experimentally observed that for the generation of receptor potential the lamellae of the pessinian carpuscle are not required it is unmyelinated nerve terminal that generates the receptor potential it is further observed that the receptor potential forms action potential in the sensory nerve at the first node of ranivir which is located uh, in the lamella of the pessinian carpuscle okay so this is the diagram showing Uh, the generator potential okay so these are different gen- generator potential and this is the action potential so which is uh, going to be generated only at the nerves the mechanism the pressure on the pessinian carpuscle causes mechanical distortion of the lamella which in turn opens the stretch sensitive sodium channels in the nerve terminal the actual receptors this increases the influx of sodium ions that results in the production of 
receptor potential at the first node of rani where the action potential is generated the magnitude and frequency of action potential is proportional to the intensity of the stimulus so this diagram demonstrate the site of action of uh, action potential genesis in the pacinian corpuscles okay so so this is when uh, you stimulate the receptor and this is when you stimulate the receptor without the uh, the lamella so there is a production of action potential that means for the generation of action potential lamella are not uh, required but when the first node of rani where is blocked okay so there will be no production of action potential here so that demonstrate that the action potential is always produced at the first node of rani where coming to the properties of receptors uh, they are they are many uh, the receptors are specific to a particular type of stimulus okay so which is called as specificity for example pain receptors are stimulated by application of painful painful stimulus and touch receptors by tactile stimulation the particular form of energy to which the receptor is most sensitive is called as adequate stimulus for example the adequate stimulus uh, for roads and cones is the light okay so that property is called as adequate stimulus so when stimulus is constant strength uh, stimulus of constant strength is applied to continuously to a receptor the frequency of action potential in the sensory nerve decreases and this is called as adaptation that is also called as desensitization based on this property receptors are classified into phasic and tonic receptors phasic receptors that ra adapt rapidly uh, they are called as phasic receptors for example touch and pressure receptors the tonic receptors the receptors that adapt slowly or do not adapt at all are called as tonic receptors for example the bar receptors present in the carotid sinus and aortic arch uh, and the pain receptors are tonic receptors then another property is acuity the pers the precision of stimulus localization is called as acuity it depends on the number of receptors present in the area where the stimulus is applied another property is intensity so when the stimulus is applied the receptors discharge depending on the strength of stimulus when the stimulus strength is less the receptors that are present close to the site of stimulus and receptors uh, with a low threshold discharge when stimulus strength is more the activated neurons fire at more rate and the receptors that are present in the some distance away from the stimulus also discharge and uh, this is called as receptor recruitment weber fechner's law so the magnitude of sensation felt is proportional to the log of intensity of uh, the stimulus and this is called as weber's fechner's law law of projection is no matter where the specific sensory pathway is stimulated along its course to the cortex the sensation formed is referred to the location of the receptors this is called as law of projection so this means irrespective of the site of application of stimulus in the sensory pathway the sensation evoked is felt at the nerve endix that is the site of receptors so this forms the basis of phantom limb in phantom limb phenomenon the limb actually does not exist as the limb has been amputated but the patient complains that he feels pain or itch in the limb in coming to doctrine of specific nerve energy so the sensation evoked by stimulus that generates impulses in the specific sensory pathway depends on the precise area of the brain that it is eventually activated by the stimulus so this was first described by muller therefore it is called as muller's doctrine of specific nerve energy for example when sensory fiber or uh, for touch is stimulated anywhere along its course to the cortex the sensation evoked is always touch it becomes possible because the po the pathways are specific and discrete from the sense organ to the cortex therefore when a nerve pathway from particular sense organ is stimulated the sensation evoked is that 
for which the receptor is specialized no matter how or where along the pathway it is uh, act, uh, activity is initiated then sensory unit is defined as a single sensory axon and all its peripheral branches and receptive field of a sensory unit is a area from where a stimulus produces a response in that unit usually uh, there is some degree of overlap of sensory units of nearby regions the receptors spread spread all uh, over a larger area and activated when strength of stimulus is increased this is not only activates the sense organs that are in direct contact with the receptor but also the sensory units present in the surrounding areas this is called as recruitment of sensory unit or sensory or receptor recruitment so this is in brief about uh, the receptors their classification and their properties thank you